Hey guys, it's your Aussie mum, Anna, and I'm just filming some... St I've actually just filmed my first haul, which... Uh, short, sorry. Which was made up of, like, my skincare routine, because I'm turning 46 next week, and I've actually been told I've got some pretty good skin, and a lot of it's budget, because I'm not wealthy, and makeup and skincare is just prohibitively expensive in Australia, particularly where I live. Tasmania, which is a little island state. We don't even have a Sephora. Um, but I firstly want to show you, so I'm going to do a couple of videos. So one is going to be like my whole makeup collection. This is certainly not it. This is actually products I've got off Timu. Listen to me before you shut off the video and heart. Then I will go through and like um, show you all my makeup products but I just wanted to discuss these some are incredible some haven't been so good some I don't know what what the story is or anything but firstly we'll start so with some of the ones I'm not sure what the story is so this is um clearly as it says Paul's Choice the exfoliating skin, skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid um I have never tried the real one I've seen lots of people on the site comment that it is the real one. They can't tell any difference between the real one. It certainly has worked for me in like shrinking my pores, that sort of thing. I like the way it's got this little cap. I don't know, it certainly doesn't feel cheap. It works, um, obviously, particularly with them being from where they are. I patch test them first. This was $8.00. And, yeah, it's done great things for my skin. If you want to see more of my skin, have a look at the short. I'd love it if you'd all watch it because I did it despite my teenage daughters teasing me. Um, okay, the next ones that are some pretty obvious, like, you know, we'll get into the obvious dupes, but these are the ones that are confusing me. Okay, so my 13-year-old daughter also has the strawberry and the cucumber and mint one of these so we've actually got five and they come in a little cardboard box so we've got the pink grapefruit the original beeswax and pomegranate and yeah she's got strawberry and cucumber mint these are bits because they're really soft i have had the real ones of these they feel incredibly like it um they were three dollars twenty i believe so yeah they're like another one i don't even know are they a dupe or not? Now, we'll get into the really obvious dupes. So, these are obviously, are really obviously dupe of the NYX Fat Oil, except these are called ML Smile Fat Oil. Um, I got a pack of four. There was, like, a brighter one and one with sparkles, but they're very, very nice. I shall swatch them. Hang on. I don't think my $39 camera is going to be good enough for you to really even see, but the top one is the more orange-based one, the bottom one is the more pink-based one. Gave the sparkling ones away to my 13-year-old daughter, but, yeah, they're not gooey and sticky. Um, and they look lovely. So I got them. This is another very obvious one. This is more so a dupe of the Dior. It's very minty too. This one is called... Lip Glow Oil Color Reviver Cherry Oil. So, yeah, um, I'll swatch this one. So, as you can see, um, it has... As you can see, it has that... Oh, sorry for that slight technical difficulty. Really large doe foot. Um, I'll swatch it. When you put it on your lips, it works like a two-faced lip plumping one. Yeah, it's the bottom one there, so it doesn't deposit a lot of colour, it does deposit some, but like if I wear it over a matte lipstick or just a lip liner or something, it doesn't pick up the colour and put it back into the tube, which I really like, so got that, okay, then, like these are the ones I worry about, okay, like surely we can tell what this is a dupe of, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Go Sleeping Mask, and this is called the ZKZR. Zuxa Watermelon Go Sleeping Mask. It's in like the really nice glass jar. This was $5.37. I love this. Um, this I really like too. So they've also, I've just seen on the site, brought one out that 
they've called the light bowl because it's in the glass, like the jar, like the traditional one. But these are watermelon glow, nice cinnamon dew drops. Um, and they work fantastic. They're just in a little 30 mil container. I got that for $7. As I said, like glows, glow recipe, for example, like the um, fruity baby's try kit is $60 when it's available in Australia. You know, like drunk elephant bronze drops, $62. That sort of thing. It's so expensive. So I'm so happy to be able to find some things. Um, I want to get the watermelon version of this. I actually got, they had peach or green tea at the time. I got the peach one and I'm really liking it. It's just a peach toner that when I'm not using the Paula's Choice one, I like to use this. Um, then I have this. Now I've forgotten the name of what I think this is duping. I think it's the Merit, like the blush. I mean, obviously cream blushes are all the go, but I'm not new to that being 45. I've been wearing them for a long time because they just sit nicer on your skin. But um, like they seem to have become very big with the younger generation. So this is one of those dual ended ones that has the, like one of those little foam thingies to blend it out. And then, ah! It only has a colour in an Asian language. Um, it's like quite a red, red sort of colour. But eh, where you got the tofu? Right here. There we go. It actually has another plastic cap on for sanitation, but I took it off to make this so you can just wind it up and down. Then it's just a little stick. Um, there's the colour, and you blend it out, and that was two dollars eighty. I really like it. I love the way it sits on my skin. I don't really use the foam ended thing much, but I'm not like offended by it. I mean, I would use it if my fingers were dirty. Like I have used it, but I'm not like, oh my god, I <laughs> didn't get it for that or anything. Although I have just apparently lost the cap on oh, no. it. There it is. You have to tell me what this is duping. Like I wanted to say the Mario one, but I know it's not. So I think it's a merit beauty. I see my daughter watching like Katie Fang and that ilk, and I. Th think they and they have like they all seem to love this concealer that looks awfully hard <laughs> um, this is another one of my favorites so this is I think the strawberries are supposed to be duping a brand too I'm not sure who though but the product so it's called color geometry makeup powder um, I would call it like a finishing powder and then it is you can get it in three different ones so I got the pink, orange, banana and sort of, I guess, natural or translucent, but you can get it with like a blue tint and a green tint and you can get your own choices. This was $4.30. This is so finely milled. It's got a really nice little powder puff in the top. I use this every day. So when you see my like full face of makeup, I will be using this. Don't worry. Cannot speak highly enough of this. Um, this was a surprise hit. I got a pack of three of these for my 13 year old daughter and I just love them. So it's called something weird like, okay, on the pack it says Capu Vinny and it like clicks up. I don't think there's much product in this but it was like $2. It's shaped like a love heart. You can see like how wet it is there. It's called, I think it like, it sort of to me seems like a Mac squirt stick because if you push it up more than like that it's going to just break off on your lips it's so emollient but the color and the shine gives you can see how like wet look it looks there I mean I don't care about the fact that that's a heart but if I was a 13 year old girl I probably would I'm just um, trying to swatch a bit so as you can see it gives a really nice shiny wet payoff but yeah if you push it up more than that it will just break off much like the max squirt sticks Sorry for that. I had just learnt that you could press pause in the middle of the video to get stuff. Like I said, this is a $39 phone. I'm not a tech person, but, you know, I also um, have some very serious back problems, so I can't work at the moment. So just, you know, I've always enjoyed skincare and makeup, and now you guys get to watch me badly enjoy it. <laughs> this one, um, total fail. This is obviously a dupe of the It. Um, CC cream make your skin better I don't mind this as a primer it's got that really sort of 
expensive cosmetic floral smell that you associate with like Estee Lauder or you know just something like that but this is like the darkest shade and um a it's like straight white which is why it's okay as it oh god some came out I was gonna say nothing comes out but that must have been because I pressed it like four million times earlier trying to get some to come out just let me like smooth that over my hand so you can see the color hang on one okay so yeah um that's white which i'm sure i understand is very commonly desired in asian skincare like brightening illuminating white i am pale like see how many freckles i have you know i am super pale and yeah that is so white but it does blur and sort of mattify and leave a nice even line so i mean yeah i've I've also my nails are like that it's because i've also got like a builder gel and an acrylic gel kit and i'm learning how to do them and so far i just keep doing them and ripping them off so they're disgusting please excuse them but yeah don't this is the deeper color the other one says it is white i'm not sure what that does like maybe it glows in the dark but anyway um, if you want very illuminated skin, yeah, and I like the packaging, it's good, but yeah, no, not, not a fan of that one. Um, this one let me down too, because it has the audacity to actually say Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, like, um, in Australia we have a, a shop called The Body Shop, well, we, we did, it was quite a large chain for a while, and they made fantastic body butters, like, I'm aware that Sol de Janeiro smells fantastic. This smells nice. It smells like Palmer's Cocoa Butter because that's basically what it is. But it doesn't smell like Sol de Janeiro. And then putting it in this like pale yellow container. They've got the um, pink one now and a green one, which I think they had as a dupe. But I want them to. But yeah, so I like this just as a like um, body butter, but I wish it wasn't saying Sol de Janeiro on it this is a dupe of the scent and I really like this this is cotton candy body fantasies it doesn't smell like cotton candy it just smells like sweet caramel and vanilla type thing not overly strong it smells like that with like a bit of sunscreen or summer or something in it but I really like that and I have um my daughter has the like the jet set of the Sol de Janeiro thing so she's got um, the setting spray or the spray of that and it smells very similar to me these next two are not duping anything really but these are skincare products I really like so this is just daily skincare vitamin C glowing serum it comes out in a little pump pack does tend to sort of um, get a little excited and you have to sort of catch it it's not neatly going anywhere um, this was a bit of a fail for what it was supposed to do what I thought it was going to be but I've ended up loving it so if you go on Timu and you type in um, bronzing drops there is one by this brand Ilho a lot of the skincare that I've ended up liking has been from them that's in a container that looks like the drunk elephant bronzing drops but it's not bronze at all and I th I read the reviews first and I thought I was going to be clever because they were like yeah it doesn't bronze your skin at all blah 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 um and these are called facial skin tanning drops it says three to five drops of skunk sun kissed six to nine drops golden 10 to 12 drops chocolate for face and other parts benefits add a drop of this product to any moisturizer and evenly apply it to the area you wish to create beautiful bronze skin this product not only makes your skin glow but also nourishes your complexion ingredients water aloe vera extract jojoba seed oil squalene glycerin carrot oil and add um, one drop of this product to any moisturizer apply a little on the face or other necessary areas um i found it's like really the combination has made like it's it's really nice for moisturizing without leaving your skin feel greasy and i put some drops in with the vitamin c serum that sort of thing but my face isn't t maybe it is I don't know we've just coming out of the middle of winter into spring so it would be hard to know if it was that or that if you know what I mean 
Okay, here's a strange one. I've been told this is a dupe. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I actually just decluttered about 15 the other day. But I've been told that this is a dupe of a Pat McGrath, um, sorry, a Natasha Denona palette, which, like, because, like, that's the reason we do this, because, like, the bronzing drops in Australia are $64. Okay, $64. And these midi palettes are 120 10 I mean like and where I am Tasmania we don't even have a Sephora like where we are they're still in, still selling naked heat for a hundred and five dollars as though it's a new palette it upsets me so this is a beautiful palette it's got the three three very distinct sort of textures so there's um, four actually there's mattes there's a couple of mattes with a little bit of glitter not an offensive amount because I hate that I'm like why put glitter in a matte then there's some traditional shimmers and then there's also like the, um, I have never tried Colourpop. I've used it a lot in Emco Beauty, which is a great Australian brand, but um, I like to think of it as the mashed potato formula, just like the squishy one that doesn't dry out. So there's, yeah, um, mattes, mattes with a bit of glitter, traditional shimmer and mashed potato. Love the colour, love the mirror. It's really sturdy. They've got um, another one that is like a, a, like a, almost a light khaki case, and I believe that is duping like soft glam or something. I'm gonna get it though. Um, this one not a dupe at all. This is just a probiotic skin hair rose hip eye balm, and like I just put this where I would get crow's feet. Uh, my 11s and just on my eye bags and I really enjoy this and I put the the sleeping mask that's really obvious like I'm I, I don't know how they can get away with that and the birds but like are they real or not I get confused um but I believe oh hang on one more thing okay the one more thing there's actually three more things so this I got um, for six dollars. It's like a Dyson Bladeless fan. It charges with the USB. It's got a little stand, obviously three different speeds. I just use it to, you know, make sure everything's dried in and stuff on my face. And I'm doing my skincare. I feel very professional doing that. This is a dupe of the Essence Mascara. I've used Essence Mascara for a long time. I've only ever used Essence Maybelline and Clinique and L'Oreal Mascara. And my daughter got um, a pink, like we got a two-pack that's this and the pink one, and she really likes that too. I, I think that's the same product. I don't know. I like. I actually really like Essence products. You'll see when I do my whole makeup tour. And this 99-cent foundation brush yes I need to clean it but I love it it's so dense and soft and it gives you such a beautiful like lovely um it just allows you to put it on so smoothly it almost I don't, it's like doing it with your hands but you don't know your hands dirty I just really like it 99 cents get it so those other things I have got from Timu, just makeup and skincare wise. If you'd like to see, like I haven't got any clothes or anything from, from there, but I have, um, my daughter's got some room decor and like um, Y2K handbags, a lot of jewellery, some of those like Stony Clover Lane, um, like little bags that say like glam and face in the little you know varsity letters that are like four hundred dollars but you can get them for four dollars off timu notebooks things like that oh a stanley cup that now has a backpack and some cool tech stuff like um i uh, i what do you call them i airpods airpod dupes and that sort of thing so i might make a video of that sort of stuff show you what's good and what's bad I've actually had pretty good experience like I hated with wish how you think you would be buying something that was two dollars and it was two dollars shipping and stuff at least with Timu there's no shipping ever and I will say I've actually won um, like prizes from their games and they've been sent to me and yeah so I was shocked about that but anyway this is my Timu skincare and makeup dupes haul I hope you like it. If you did, please hit the like 
button. Um, please comment for engagement. I will, you know, I'm 45. I now have a broken back. I can't be a bank teller anymore, guys. I need to be a, a uh, what are they called? A beauty guru? Like, I, f I could fill Tati shoes and curb stomp James Charles. It'd be fantastic. No, that's probably hate speech. Not really. Um, I don't know him. But anyway, the next video will be my full makeup collection. So like that. Um, and then there's like all those, all that stuff up there. And oh, yes. So yeah, it's a very small part. We have much to go. So I'll see you in that video, guys, and enjoy this one. And and check out my little short because I'm so proud. I mean, I am short. I'm five foot. But the little short, the 60-second video thing that, like, seems like the domain of the youth. And I'm like, yeah, I'm there. Okay, anyway. um, Yeah, see you next video, guys. Bye.